the Daily Dose. My name's Robert, and there is the stun shaking her head, Susan Scarlett. <laughs> Hi. Oh, there yeah. goes a, an alarm telling me that I need to go take a medication in five minutes. Oh, in five minutes. Well, good. We better make this five minutes, really. We, we got to do it. We got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I, lo I love that, by the way. Anything that happens that's kind of unexpected is, is delightful to me. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, yes. I, was, I was inspired by something uh, and, and just uh, the thought that because we play in comedy, you know, and, and truth in comedy, right? That's kind of our, our tone, the thing we lean on. People think it's jokes. We work hard to tell them it's not jokes. People also think uh, sometimes that because, you know, you're in this, that it's always, you know, people who do this stuff are always funny. And it's really, what's interesting to me and delightful about improv when you get further into it is, is the times when it's not funny and you go, oh, and, and it still lands. And then it's backed up a lot of times by a really funny thing right after that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that it gives you that human beat, that human balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The human moment that, where you have the little aha go off. You have a little connection. Yeah, yeah, because it opens the door listening to somebody, right? And you're like, oh, and then you lean in and then they, and then they kind of give you a little pink on the nose and you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you know. Whoa, so um, I don't know if this is related to that or not. It might kind of be. I heard okay, an interesting expression today. Mm -hmm to not commit acts of violence against ourselves. Mm, wow, wow, I like that, self-sabotage. And I realized that I've actually been doing that by limiting the amount of exposure that I have to uh, a certain big issue, you know, life issue, problem, that one can, um, I don't know, make oneself too open, too vulnerable, too whatever. And if you have Parkinson's and you have dyskinesias, you don't get away with it for very long before your body starts, you know, really saying, hey, you've stepped over the line here. So I have a little bit of a advantage. You know, I have this little early warning system, which is really giving it a lot of credit. <laughs> but it is incredibly effective that in that concept, it is an act of violence against oneself. If you sit in something, when you don't do anything about it, you just you just say, okay, I'll just carry this, you know, I've carried it all this time, I'll just keep carrying it or, or whatever. Or I'll talk it to death. Whoops, this is gonna have to- You really have to go? We really, I really do. Okay, that's your daily dose.